Hey, this is Stephen Platinum, your friend in wrestling with Platinum against AEW Dark Elevation, episode 44, I believe. It was eight matches long, featured a whole lot of people that I know. Very excited to dive into this one. A very cool main event with Jay Lethal against Troy Hollywood, a guy I've seen quite a few times at Mayhem on Mills. He's their former champion. Um, very excited. Let's just dive in. First match, Rijo against Valentino Rossi. This is a foregone conclusion match, of course. Valentino, though, has been there a few times. I believe this is Valentina's seventh appearance. Rijo, of course, um, a former AEW women's champion, been there for quite some time. Um, running Meteora picks up the victory, uh, but Rossi is given quite a bit of offense considering Riho is going into a big match with Britt Baker. Nonetheless, Riho gets the win. Now, on these foregone conclusion jobber matches, squash matches, this wasn't a squash exactly, um, we grade on a three-check scale, one check for the right person being put over, um, a second check if they look good in the process, and Riho certainly does, um, and a third check mark if the person who's losing does a good job in defeat and or gets a disproportionately high amount of offense. That certainly both of those things happen. So three check marks and we're moving on. Second match, Andrate against um, J.P. Harlow. I believe J.P. Harlow is making a first appearance and does a good job here. Gets in a little bit of offense, but this is really about making Andrade look dominant. And... Um, Andrade using a submission to get a win here after working on the shoulder for quite some time. Three check marks. Good deal. Uh, Megan Bain against Layla Gray. And um, oh, both of them don't have a win as of yet. Um, so I'm going to call this competitive. Now in competitive matches, and it is very competitive. They go back and forth for quite a time. Both of them getting to show their stuff a little bit. Of course, I think Layla Gray... Um, looks like a million bucks, and her wrestling continues to improve, and she looks very good here. Um, do both sides look good? Most definitely. Does uh, Megan Bain um, wins with a tombstone pile driver? Holy guacamole. Um, that's a definitive win for a second check mark. And then the third check mark, if something is advanced, and I think uh, Megan Bain is going to start picking up wins, and Layla Gray has gotten herself um, a return match. Um, not necessarily um, against the same opponent, but I think they're going to start using Layla Gray more. And that's good news for everybody. Um, fourth match, Scorpio Sky. Dan Lambert there at ringside against Ray Jazz. We've seen Ray Jazz a few times, um, not recently, but he's back as well. So that's really great to see. Um, Sky winning with that TKO. Um, gives up a little bit of offense, but again, this is about looking strong. So three check marks, and uh, Scorpio Sky most certainly does. The Dark Order. Um, in our fifth match, Alex Reynolds and John Silver with Brody Lee Jr. against Mike Orlando, who's made one appearance, and Shane Stetson, who I believe has made a couple, um, this being the third appearance. Anytime you're wrestling the Dark Order, especially Alex Reynolds and John Silver, you, it's uh, it's definitely not a night off. You got to put in that work, um, get all those combinations right, and sure enough, the Dark Order connects with their step up and Seguri rolling elbow stunner German suplex combination uh, with the uh, sort of jackknife style pin. Um, but Mike Orlando and Shane Stetson do a good job here. So three check marks. Sixth match, Serpentico. Against Jake Atlas. Jake Atlas! Oh, that's good to see Jake Atlas here making his debut for AEW. And Serpentico, um, of course, very, very trusted hand here at uh, AEW. Um, I'm going to call this an even matchup, though I suspect Jake Atlas is winning this. Let's see what's going on. Um, do both sides look good? Most definitely. Um, does Jake Atlas win definitively? Yes, a cartwheel DDT, um, madness, and a flying knee strike that looked really good in my opinion. Um, and is something advanced? Yeah, Jake Atlas is here, and they're clearly going to put him on the winning track. Um, that is certainly one story being told. Um, so, yeah. 
good for elevation here. Seventh match, Sky Blue, um, who they're continuing to give wins to, against Angelica Risk. Great, always great to see Angelica Risk. Um, a little green, but here looks very good and makes sure Sky Blue looks good. So Blue wins with the full Nelson a face slam to pick up the victory. Three check marks here. And then um, our main event, Jay Lethal against Troy Hollywood making his debut. How did Troy Hollywood do? Freaking great. Freaking great. Um, makes me very happy. Definitely did himself a lot of favors here. Um, Jay Lethal wins, of course. Did both sides. Uh, I, I guess you really can't call this competitive. Um, did Jay Lethal look good? Yes, in the victory. So that's two check marks. And did Troy Hollywood look really, really good in defeat? Absolutely. So congratulations to a number of people for really shining on this one. Um, however, is AEW Dark going to beat Elevation? We'll see in terms of show quality. But a very good show.